Monday with Monique. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mondays with Monique. It is such a great day and a great pleasure to have Bailey Friend and Peter DeCordy from the Rancheria. They're going to be our guests today. Peter's going to cook up some good stuff and uh, talk about what's happening at the Rancheria. There's so much going on from concerts to beer fests, etc. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Welcome back to Mondays with Monique. I'm Monique Grazade, and we have a great show planned for you. Uh, we're honored to have the Rancheria, Jackson Rancheria, here as our guests. We have Bailey Friend and Peter DeCordy, our chef. And uh, just want to know what's happening right now at the Rancheria. I know there's a whole there's lot, a lot of new stuff. Yeah, we, uh, we just had the Wheelmobile on the property the last two days. That was really fun, mm -hmm. uh, trying out for Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. And then, uh, but this Thursday is our beer pairing event with Dust Bowl Brewing Company. And mm -hmm. uh, they're at a Turlock, and we're having them out on the garden terrace. And Chef Peter has put together some uh, great little pairings with some of their food, uh, some of their beer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have live music with Manny Sosa. Oh, he's really and good. Yeah, it'll be really neat. The representatives from Dust Bowl will be there with uh, some information and talking about their, their brews and mm -hmm. it'll be really fun. About how many different brews do they have? They're, well, in their tap or are they room, bringing? Yeah, they're bringing four. Mm -hmm. uh, they're bringing four and we're pairing four different uh, uh, meals with each, different dishes with oh, each wow. one. Oh, that sounds really, yeah. really good. Well, what's on the menu then, Chef Peter? We're going to be doing a um, summer melon salad. Mm -hmm. We're doing a tri-tip slider kind of sandwich. Mm -hmm. We're doing a Spanish paella. Mm -hmm. And then we're also doing a um, pork spare rib. Amazing. Yeah. And you're doing some of this on open fire too, right? Yeah, well, the ribs and the tri-tip are going to be cooked in our underground pits. They just built wow. these big um, underground pits where we build a fire in them and then bury the meat inside the pit. It gets mm -hmm. covered and stays in there for you know, five or six hours and yeah. cooks down it's amazing. there. That is, I mean, falls this is so, off of tender. so tender. Oh, oh, it's great. I think the Hawaiians had that one figured yeah, out. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and then also we'll have the uh, a big wood fire grill with um, big paella pans, and that's where we're going to I cook can't our wait paella. to see the pans. We were talking neat. before the show, and these pans sound massive, like yeah, huge. They're, they're huge. huge. Yeah, I want to see it cook on those. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really I'm really neat. excited about that one. So. Yeah, I bet. And so you're going to man the pan, right? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Very good. Yeah. We're doing it a little bit different than maybe a different uh, beer pairing or a wine pairing event that you've been to mm -hmm. where it's sit down and it's course out. Oh. This is actually going to be kind of more of a mingling experience where each food will have a different station and the beer will be poured right next to the food so I you see. can see the paella being made awesome. and uh, the uh, a person from the brewery will be at each station mm -hmm. talking about the beer and they'll be um, Peter will be one, at one of the stations as well, some of his other cooks at each other one to talk about the food and why we paired it with the beer. Mm -hmm. So it's more of an interactive kind of uh, beer pairing. Mm -hmm. and there'll be live music going on and family style seating so you can go sit down if you you know, grab your little plate and decide that you want to sit for a little bit and not mingle. And then we also mm -hmm. have a area off to the side of um, snacks before, so cheese and meats and um, oh, nice. great charcuterie and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Wow, you know how fun. to do it up. Yeah, I like that. Really like that. Yeah. I really like the idea that you can move around. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mind, you know, set up dinners and that's nice, but it I always is. see people that I want to speak with or I haven't seen in a while. I like the mingling thing. Yeah, that's it's going to be a little thing. bit more relaxed and... Um, uh, it's out on the garden terrace at the hotel, so mm -hmm. if you park in the hotel parking lot, there's right. only it's a smaller parking lot, so if it does fill up, you can definitely park in the garage. Okay. Uh, take the elevator up to, to um, level three, take the skywalk over, and then you walk into the hotel, you're right there in the hotel, and it's off to just, out, just outside to the coffee shop. Yeah, to the left. Okay. And, uh, Will call will open at 5 o'clock if you decide the last minute you want to buy tickets. And then mm -hmm. doors open at 6, and we'll have the event going right at 6 o'clock until 8. Awesome. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's only supposed to be 85 on Thursday. And Perfect. it's all covered with our big new terrace tent. And uh, it's really pretty out there. They've done an amazing job. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of fun to sit out there and you see the waterfall and the casino mm -hmm. off to the side and then the hills up behind you. It's really pretty. Great view, huh? Yeah, it's I really have to nice. get out And the there. breeze just falls right through that tent 
uh, it's a really nice experience. We had a beer, and, I'm sorry, we had a dinner and comedy last month out there, and it was mm -hmm. just so much fun. Oh, what a lovely venue. Yeah, I can't wait really to see neat. it. I need to get out there. We yeah. were just talking, and um, I haven't been out there, obviously, in a couple of years, because, you know, in my mind, I was thinking the Lone Wolf had opened fairly recently, reopened again, and you were saying it's been almost two years. Almost. Where almost have so. I been? I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> and it's not in the hotel anymore. It's actually upstairs. Mm -hmm. You have to go through the casino, and okay. they have their own terrace as well, and um, a piano and some live music on Fridays and Saturday nights, mm -hmm. and um, it's beautiful up there as well. And then they mm -hmm. have locals nights on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so. everybody, pay attention to this part. <laughs> this is the important part. <laughs> go have dinner at the Lone Wolf. We are open till 10 o'clock at night, which is mm -hmm. different for our area, so you can go have dinner a little bit later. But open at 4. Mm -hmm. You can go in and let them know you're a local and you're here for locals night, and yeah. it's 20% off your um, your food mm -hmm. and free corkage. So bring a great, in a great opportunity. And we won't charge you for a corkage. And you have a very diverse menu. You have, you know, some items that are not quite as expensive. You have some very high-end items. What's your high-end item that you just comes to mind oh, first? Oh, they do uh, filet and lobster. Oh, I would like that. It's, um, it's very popular. <laughs> right? I could do that. And they also yeah. do lobster macaroni and cheese right now. Yeah, we just they changed up the menu a little bit oh, and okay. added a few smaller dishes or more pasta style dishes that mm -hmm. were less expensive. So you don't have to feel like you're going to Lone Wolf and you're going to spend a ton of money. You can actually right. go up there and not spend too much. And yeah. the lobster mac and cheese I have not tried yet, but I'm really excited to go up there and check so that good. out. <laughs> I just love that you guys are open at the Lone Wolf until 10 o'clock at night, even on a weeknight. Because a lot of times, by the time you get off of work and you know help the kids with homework and you want to go out and just you know grab a beer and an appetizer mm -hmm. everything's closed you know right. so what a treat you yeah. know I'd love that I had no idea you guys were open that way you don't have to sit down at a full dining table either there is a bar and lounge area you can mm -hmm. sit and have a few cocktails and have an appetizer the flatbreads up there are great really there's a good. wood fired pizza, pizza oven Ooh. in the All restaurant my name. so <laughs> <laughs> the flat uh, the flatbread pizzas are awesome yeah I love that just kind of casual food if you yeah. feel like casual or sit down at a table and you know get dressed up and have a white tablecloth meal exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the diversity that's really great yeah it's nice mm -hmm. but the beer pairing on uh, Thursday uh, tickets are only $30 mm -hmm. and actually there's a special right now tell and us about the special give you a little hint <laughs> if you want to buy tickets and you have a buddy coming with you mm -hmm. you can purchase them online at jacksoncasino.com okay in our entertainment area you can go on and just click on the event Right. And uh, when you purchase the tickets, there's a little um, code you can put in for a buy one, get one free ticket. So two mm. people for $30. Are you going to give us the code? I am. It's, oh, okay. It's <laughs> Dust Bowl. All one word, just like the brewery. Dust so Bowl. D -U -S -T -B -O -W -L, Easy. D-U-S-T-B-O-W-L. Dust Bowl. Buy one, get one free. So two people for $30. Beer, food, live entertainment. It's a great deal. It's a great I mean, deal. You know, four course dinner, four different types of items, it's four Snaps different types as of well. beer. Yeah. yeah. You can't. I can't go out to dinner and have beer and an entree for fifteen dollars. So. <laughs> and the live entertainment, and, live music, and so. it's you know just it sounds like a beautiful venue. Oh, it's gonna be I'm really, really fun. looking forward to it. And yes, I will join you guys. Good. I, yeah. have to, I just have to try it out. I have to take a look. Yeah. yeah. So you have some other things. This is a prelude to um, our brew a beer fest. fest. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're having um, our Sierra Foothill Harvest Brew Fest mm -hmm. uh, in the Grand Oak Ballroom on Sunday, October twentieth, and mm -hmm. we're gonna have around. 30 breweries, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, some, it's going to be kind of a harvest theme, and our portion of our proceeds will go to Second Generation, which is uh, Oh, yeah, local. that was the dinner we yeah. were talking about. We almost ended up with the Derby car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Dang, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so. cool. And then also you're talking, you're kind of getting ready for the holiday season, holiday parties. Yeah, holiday parties. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that Definitely. when we go out and cook, and Chef Peter is going to, what are you going to cook for us? We're going to do the melon salad from the beer pairing event. And how many melons are in there? Four different ones. Four melons. Very, very <laughs> good. All right, folks, stick with us. We will be right back after a short commercial break, and we're going to cook it up. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.